Hi, this is Jody Beaner, and I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers for joining my new channel, Mercurial Movies. And I hope with this video that I get lots more new subscribers because I just want people to like me, and the more people that subscribe to my channel, the more I know people will like me. And so that's all right, then, isn't it? Listen, I was talking to somebody on the uh, internet the other day, and they said to me, Am I an atheist? And I'm like, Well, yes because they already told me that they were an atheist and I wanted them to like me so I said yes but I didn't really know what an atheist was so I went to talk to my mom about it and my mom said that an atheist is someone who's afraid to admit that there's a God and I said oh okay uh, and then I said mom is there a God and she told me to ask Santa Claus in December so that's what I'll do um, anyway so this guy whose his, his username I think was Dark Lord of the Underworld 666 or something like that and uh, he said that there were these questions that atheists were answering and if I answer the questions that I get, might get more subscribers because all the atheists are answering them so I said okay fine and somebody called Brett Keane made like uh, a whole bunch of questions so if there's time at the end of this video for me to do a poem I'll do a poem but if there's not enough time because it's a lot of questions man it's a lot of questions and if, if if I get distracted or if I run out of time I'm very sorry I promise I'll have a poem in my next video okay now question number one is where do you get your morality from hmm well, I personally get my morality from my mom. If my mom tells me that something is wrong, then I know it is wrong because my mom said so. Because my mom knows the difference between right and wrong. And if my mom didn't tell me what was right and what was wrong, I wouldn't know. Okay? So my mom. Uh, question number two. Why do you accept evolution? Explain how you came to your conclusions. Well, when I was really little, I got these little plastic dinosaurs, and my mom told me they lived like bazillions of years ago and stuff, and I was like, okay, fine, I, whatever that means, because I was a little kid, and I don't understand 10 years, much less bazillions, so, you know. Um, but I liked to play with my dinosaurs anyway, and then um, when I was about, I don't know, 12, I think, I saw this movie called Jurassic Park, and they said that dinosaurs turn into birds, and I like birds, so I believe in evolution. Um, question number three. What is the meaning and purpose of my life? Um, my life is supposed to have meaning and purpose? Um, I'll have to ask my mom. I'll get back to you on that one. Um, question number four. What is the greatest thing you have ever done for others? Um, well, I look after my mom. I looked after her every, every day, every, every day that I've been alive, I've looked after my mom in one way or another because she needs a lot of help. I mean, when I had lots and lots of dads over and over again, sometimes she would be very sad, and so I would have to look after her, and now my mom is in bed a lot because, um, well, she's very sad a lot because, uh, you know, basically she likes to go out at night to meet people, see if she can meet somebody who would be my next dad, you know, and then she always comes home a bit, well, a bit drunk. And so she's very sad the next day because she didn't meet anybody and her head hurts. So that's the purpose of my life, I guess. Um, that's what I do for other people, I guess, too. You know, I do, I look after my mom. That's what I do. Question number five. Would you kill for atheism? Um, no. I wouldn't kill for atheism. I'd kill for a billion dollars. Uh, question number six. Why are you an atheist and consider your position valid? Well, until the other day, I didn't know I was an atheist. I thought that, you know, um, I thought that God was a big sky daddy and he made everything. And, and like, you know, if, you, if you're not very good when you go to bed, God will visit you in a dream and scare you very badly. Um, but I guess that's wrong because atheist is what I am now. So I guess if I'm an atheist and I consider my position valid, I'm going to have to, um, uh, well, doing these questions is part of what makes my atheism valid. Yeah, it's the questions. It's the questions. I'm doing the questions to prove my atheism. So I hope you like me because I'm doing the questions. Anyway, question number seven. If you died and discovered God exists, what would you say to he, she, or it? Hmm. I would ask where the donuts are, 
and um, if I could please have a halo, because I think halos are kind of cool. And if I get some wings, then I could fly, and that would be pretty cool too. I'd ask God for some wings, and I'd ask for a halo, and maybe like a golden harp that I could play. That'd be kind of cool. Um, question number eight. What religion is the most dangerous in your eyes today and in the past? Ooh. Ooh. I... I don't know. Which religion has the biggest army? They're the most dangerous ones. Um, question number nine. Name three peaceful religions that you have no issue with. Okay. I have no issue with um, atheism, because I'm an atheist, and that's a religion, apparently. And I've got no qualms with Christianity, because everybody in the world loves Christians. And I've got no qualms with... Um, Muslims, because they pray like five times a day, so they're five times as loyal to God as Christians are, and that's pretty good. So I've got no problem with those religions, because they're all obviously peaceful. Uh, question number ten. What would it take to make you believe in a God? Well, my mom told me that being an atheist just means I won't admit it. So I guess just admitting it would make me not an atheist anymore and make me a believer again. So... I, 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 I guess all it would take was for me to admit it, but I'm not going to admit it because I'm an atheist now. Because I want people to like me. Um, question number 11. Would the world be a better place without religion? Ooh. I don't know. Imagine no religion. It's easy if you try. Nothing to kill or die for. No hell below us. No heaven in the sky. Yeah, I think it would be a better place without religion. Yeah, up with atheism! Question number 12. Sorry, I get a bit carried away. I'm having a nice day, though. These are fun. Question number 12. How do you feel about government and politics? Well, I think that they should stay in Parliament where they belong. Question number 13. If you could go back in time and kill Hitler and Stalin as babies, so they would never kill millions in the future, would you if time travel were possible? <laughs> if time travel were possible, I'd rather go to the future, thank you. Um, why is stem cell research so important? What the heck is stem cells? Uh, do, are those the cells in the branches of the trees? I'll have to look into that on Wikipedia and get back to you. Uh, question number 15, is abortion evil? Ooh, is abortion evil? Hmm, is abortion evil? I better make something smart up here. Um, abortion is evil because abortionists are evil. Do atheists believe in abortion or not? I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that one as well. Um, question number 16, what would the circumstances require for you to approve of torture. <laughs> I don't get a choice. I get tortured all the time. Um, question number 17. Should we try to save animals from going extinct? Well, the dinosaurs are already extinct, and those are my favorite ones, so it's a bit too late for that. Um, what other animals are about to go extinct? Um, are, are, are we going to lose uh, tigers? I think tigers are going extinct from last I heard. We should definitely save the tigers because I like my frosted flakes and um, and I think tigers are pretty. Uh, question number 18. Do you approve of capital punishment? No. Uh, question number 19. Do you believe in aliens, spirits, souls, or any other supernatural forces? Yes, I believe in aliens. I've been watching Star Trek all my life. Question number 20. Would you sacrifice yourself for a loved one with a chance that you might end up in hell for being an atheist? Hell? Um, well, I'll sacrifice myself for a loved one, and that would send me to heaven because I sacrificed myself for a loved one, and surely God would like me for that. Of course he would. Of course he would. She would, or it would, whatever. It says she, he, she, it up here, so it might be, might be she. I don't know. But God was, God will forgive me because I was sacrificing myself, and sacrifice is something that God loves. Just ask Jesus. Okay. Question number 21. Explain in detail the process of death. Well, um, my 14th stepdad 
um, put a bullet in his head because he didn't like my mom very much and he left a note saying you drove me to suicide and killed himself so the process of death is a bullet in the brain question number 22 have you ever been dead I don't think so not that I can recall um, I'll have to get back to you on that one as well well, that's all those questions, uh, so thank you for listening. I hope you like me, and um, I hope that you found my answers informative and interesting, and I hope you like me. Please like me, and subscribe. There's a gold button. I remembered it this time. It's up that way, and uh, you just punch the gold button, and that means you like me.